So this question says, in a right triangle, one angle measures x degrees, where sine of x degrees is equal to 4 over 5. What is cosine of 90 degrees minus x degrees? So the strategy for this question is definitely plug-in picture. So again, plug-in picture is a strategy that we use, um, basically which says, draw anything that is described in the question, right? So this question does not provide a picture of or a diagram of a right triangle, but it does describe it. So we're going to draw it ourselves. So I'm going to draw a right triangle here. The next part of that strategy is to then, once you've drawn, you want to label with all the information provided in the question. So let's see. The question tells us that one of the angles measures x degrees. So I'm going to label one of the measures of the ang one angle as x degrees. It also tells me that sine of x is equal to 4 over 5. So hopefully you remember that SOHCAHTOA tells us how to basically tells us the ratios of each of our trig functions. So sine of an angle is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, or O over H. So we were told that we have 4 over 5. So the opposite side of x degrees should be 4. And the hypotenuse, which is always opposite of the 90 degree angle, by the way, or the longest side, the hypotenuse must be 5. Okay, so that's, give, that's labeling with everything that we know. The, th the third and last step to plug in picture is to then label with anything else relevant to the question that you know that was not provided. So for instance, I have a, right, have a triangle, so all I'm missing is this side here, which I can find, and I'm missing this angle here. So if I can label those, it's gonna be very beneficial to me. So some of you may recall that there is a special right triangle called a three, four, five right triangle which this triangle fits perfectly, making this side equal to three. If you don't recall that, then hopefully you recall that if you have two sides of a right triangle, you can always find the missing side by using the Pythagorean theorem. So using this theorem here would help us to figure out as well that this missing side is three, so I labeled that. So this only thing left to label is this angle up here. So of course, I don't know exactly what it is, but I do know that it must be, I do know that this top angle here and this bottom angle here that was labeled as X have to add up to 90, right? Because all three angles have to add up to 180. This angle here is 90 degrees, meaning that the bottom or the top and bottom right angle must add up to 90. So that tells me that this top angle could be written as 90 minus x, right? Because if, let's say for instance, if x were 30 by chance, that would make this top angle have to be 60. And 60 is the same as 90 minus 30 or 90 minus whatever the x degree angle is. So now that I know that this angle here at the top is 90 minus x, I am in the driver's seat because now if I'm looking for the cosine of 90 minus x, Well, the cosine comes from this ratio, which is adjacent over hypotenuse. So what is adjacent to my 90 minus x angle here? Well, the adjacent side would be 4. So that's equal to 4. And again, the hypotenuse, which never changes, is 5. So the answer to this question is 4 fifths.